How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at some absolutely crazy Instacart customers. I think this should be pretty entertaining. This is stuff that we've all dealt with. So without any further ado, let's take a look at some of these videos and pictures, whatever, whatever they are. And yes, I am bald now. All right, so the first one I wanna check out. This is uh, not that crazy, but something you could probably relate to. So basically customer tells me to hurry up to deliver when I have another customer to shop for besides her and was still in my time frame. Was so rude when I dropped off her things, then reported half of her stuff missing when she only ordered 13 items. Why does Instacart allow customers to treat us this way? So basically, you get the, please, can you hurry up? I need to go somewhere. I've heard this about three times. I've heard people say that and then say, hey, if you go like really fast, I'll give you a big cash tip. The cash tip's never there. And uh, so this person here was like, I'm still in my time frame, which respect. I'm shopping for you and somebody else. These customers do not realize that Instacart pairs half these orders up with other customers. And it's partially Instacart's fault. Like they do not do a good job at letting the customer know what's going on. They don't tell the customer that, hey, you didn't tip, so you're probably gonna be stuck in an order with three other customers. Your Frozens are probably gonna arrive damaged because you got stuck with three people. This even happens with people that tip very well, unfortunately. And um, that's just how Instacart gets us to take those bad orders. It sucks. All right, let's take a look at this one. I'm sorry. It looked like he had a bad day. So I was doing an Instacart and I was doing three orders at once because that's what they assigned me. And then I get this message. That's what I'm saying, guys. Like the three orders at once, like all the time. Customers are never happy about it. I just saw the donuts were refunded. If possible, kindly replace with glazed donuts. Did that. Are you almost done? Literally, I just started the order. I have three orders I'm doing. That's ridiculous. What? It's ridiculous you're shopping for other people. Cancel my order. Call Instacart. <laughs> I don't know how. Can you deliver to me within 15 minutes? Just wondering, how could you possibly- Checkout takes 15 minutes sometimes. Like, that's just unreasonable. Keep the frozen and refrigerated items and cold for three shoppers. They have a lot of nerve putting me with three other orders not your fault if you cannot be here in 15 minutes i must cancel i have an idea simply refund everything because i'm not calling his face says everything like just absurd i sorta can understand where the customer is coming from because getting paired with three customers is just absurd or those double store orders with three customers it's insane but it's not the shopper's fault and that's what customers do not understand all right, here's a good one. Um, please give me a pack of, I, I can't pronounce that, basically cigarettes and I will flash, flash you for real. I don't know what to say. I don't know what I can say. I don't know what I should say. We'll, we'll just pass this. Deborah, no. All right, so this is uh, why she was upset. So I can only refund if the item is not available. If you would like to cancel this order and place it for another store that may be better stocked, you can contact Instacart support. Who do you think you are? Says Deborah. Just finish my order as quickly as possible. Okay, so apparently I missed like the whole lead up to the story, but this is what she said before all that. Classic, just miscommunication, lack of customer, understanding how the app works, all that jazz. Oh, here's our favorite. Leave at my door. Ask for extra blue cheese or one star. Is that a threat? Seems like a threat to me. Okay, but it's all right. She said, please. It's okay. So this one, you guys have probably already seen. This is an older video done by another fellow ex-Instacart shopper. She's kind of doing something else now, but uh, yeah, she saw this. You guys, I am screaming right now. This customer left this note in her order and I am shocked. Please read this, please. She gonna say, please send me a photo of your insulated cooling bags in your shopping cart immediately before shopping. Otherwise, I will call Instacart promptly and cancel this order to reschedule with a- All right, so the customer says that they would cancel the order immediately if they don't see the shopping bag. And I would cancel the order immediately after seeing those customer notes. There is no way you're ever going to please a person that has five paragraphs of notes for how they want you to shop for their groceries. Just know that you guys could watch that video on your own. It's a whole video just by itself. Just look at this. Like it's literally an essay. This is longer than some of the essays that I wrote in high school right here. Like, I mean, good for her, but no, no, thank you. Just uh, Instacart, do us a favor. Let the new people do those type of orders. No offense, guys, but yeah, I don't want to do them. All right, here's a good one. 
Um, but I don't really know how this starts, but let's just jump right into it. Absolutely not. I specifically said, do not replace my cat. Will not eat pate. What the hell? Sorry, that was hard to read. Her poor cat. I will not pay for this replacement. All right, I'm sorry. I'm probably yelling straight into the mic, but is this a cat lady? I think it is. I will not pay for the replacement. 16 explanation marks right there. Maybe 35. Half her keyboard is literally just explanation marks. All right, so our fellow shopper here says that there was no note on that specific item about not replacing. Also, this is something that can easily be fixed and there is no need to get upset. And I do apologize, but on my end, it showed as you approving the replacement. Customer, not true. Oh, she's angry. Your website is not functioning properly today. For this store, I would never have approved her cat food, whatever. Oh my gosh, it's not that serious. Props to the shopper for responding as nice as they did. I would like to say I would do the same, but yep. I'd, I'd probably just cancel the order at that point because you do not want to deliver to someone that is that hostile over text. Like, you guys are gonna show up and she's gonna be throwing the cat litter box straight in your face, guaranteed. Okay, here's a interesting one. First of all, it's stressing me out that the phone's almost dead and they're about to begin an order, but uh, yeah, more power to you. I just realized you guys couldn't see what I was talking about, but yeah, they're working with like 2% to finish the whole order, good for you. Double check to make sure they are the cloth type and able to use half sheet. Thank you. Smiley face. Okay, whatever. That was extremely painful to read. All caps. Let's go. And then down here, it gets even better. So make sure it's 116 ounces. You'll notice that I requested the 116 ounces. Please don't get the 77 ounce and tell me some ridiculous excuse. Just pay attention. It's not like we purposely go out of our way to downgrade your order. It cost us money. It's called it was out of stock and we replaced it like the app told us to. You know, like a professional shopper. I can't read that. All right, here's one of our last ones. It is from Dina, one of the most lovable, enjoyable Instacart customers. It's funny because this is actually the name of my mother and um, I, <laughs> I hope it's not her. Okay, so cancel this order if you do not know how to shop. Mom, this better not be you. Okay, I'm trying to offer replacements for items that the store does not currently have. If you want to request another shopper, they will have the same issue as far as what's available in the store. I cannot pick items that aren't here. Well said, shopper. Just cancel the order. I'll go look for it somewhere else. Thank you. All right, guys, that is it for the day. I'm sure you guys have dealt with a lot of similar stuff before. If you guys have, let us know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' stories. I might even throw a story down there as well. There's a lot of characters out there, and sometimes it might be an awful order, it might ruin your day, but it makes for a good story, and we're all laughing now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Slap that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.